Now we going hard cause we bumping at the beat source It's a three course dinner of dudes bringing the news and stats, interviews and cast from the pro scene So fresh and so clean, like you're leaning with, I mean in the bot lane Keep it hot like brand, practicing his dot game Give it to you easy like you're Rezzy in a bot game Imagine Draven at prime time, now ulti like LeBlanc can copy that four times But manlier, knock it up like now fight planning a family -er. You gotta be tuned in like Sona on the ad wall Get on the chat call, can a podcast really be all that? Of course, how do four guys make a try force? Hey guys, welcome to the Trinity Force Podcast. My name is Adam Ponophobia Cogswell, and I am your host for this evening. As you can see, this is a special 177.5 episode where we've brought on a awesome guest. But first of all, DeClaude is joining me tonight. Howdy. Hi, DeClaude. Thanks for so much for here. And Kyle from Area of Defect has hey. sat in the chair. <laughs> yes, I am sitting in the chair. <laughs> so, as you heard before this started, we have a brand new podcast intro that we graciously asked Area Defect and Kyle to take care of for us, mm -hmm. and I think it is just fantastic. It it, it captures everything good. about Trinity Force. That's great. I'm glad you guys like it. It was a lot of fun to record. We had we had uh, a <laughs> when when you first when you first approached us about it, I was like, "Hey, David, our sound guy, put the track together," and then Dom and I just sat there like this for a bit. <laughs> you know, just like <laughs> listening to the different, because he gave us like three different ways that he thought it could go, and we were all just, you know, just bumping along. It was a good time. Oh, I really, it was, it was a lot of fun to do. How, how was it putting it together? Because I only gave you like two criteria. I said the end has to right. be about four guys <laughs> making a Triforce, and I said it has to be about podcasting in League of Legends. Right, right. So I was like, I was like, well, basically, I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna like try as hard as I can to make it like make sense, you know, logically. So people listening to it aren't like, he's just, you know, saying champion names, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like, you know, like, put it's it together. Pokey, like it's a pokey rap or some shit. <laughs> and then we, uh, and then, um, yeah, that when, when I was writing it, Dom was like, what's up with this last line? I was like, this is, this is the thing that they wanted. This is, that's the one, the <laughs> one, one request they asked for was that I put this line. So I did. And then, the, actually, the fun part, the beginning with the whole, like, choppy sequence and stuff, like, uh, our, one of the guy, our, the engineer we had who recorded it for us, he was like, he's like, I just got this new pad, so I'm gonna, like, take all of your vocal lines, put them into this pad, and then just play them, and, like, <laughs> that's around with it, so he was, like, really excited to get down on that, so, it was, all around, it was really great, it was really great. So time. we, so we broke in the new, uh, the new toy for him? Yeah, we broke in the you, nice. you guys this is the this was the 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 uh, christening of that of that device. <laughs> awesome. How, how yeah. long how long does it take you to uh you know obviously very creative you got to come up with the track and then the lyrics. How long does that take you? Uh you got the commission from Adam the request from start to finish. Well, usually uh that one took maybe sometimes sometimes I'm inspired and sometimes I'm not. And when I'm inspired it it just like get it Find track, sit down, write, done, record, boom. Like, okay. and that usually, Shake you know, a yeah, a couple of days. Shake but if bake. if I'm having a little bit of a hard time with it, it can be like, I'll get the track, listen to it, try to put some words down, nothing's coming up, take a break for a day, go back to it, nothing, you know. With this one, it took me about like five days to really figure out what I wanted to do. But then once I got it, you know, it was like one day to write, one day to record. Nice. Um, That's something. good to hear. At least we didn't stump you too bad. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, it's funny because every time we've had a new intro come up, like we had one before uh, with his name was Anonymous Killer. He's just a random guy. We told him the same thing. How do four guys make a Triforce? That's you know what yeah. we wanted. And that actually came from our very first intro was done by Bad, bad Administrator. And people have been bad. clamoring for Bad Administrator to make a new intro for us. But he hasn't had the time to really do anything. So that's when I was like, well, why am I not talking to Area Defect and getting these guys on here? <laughs> Thank and, you. Yeah. Uh, but. Yeah. But I was gonna say, like that came. He just he threw that line together and came up on it. And we really liked it because it's always been four or five guys, and it's you know it's a funny line because it's Trinity Force podcast. It means right. three people. So right, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. But that, you know that's awesome. And let's go ahead and go talk about Area Defect and what you've done past in League of Legends community. Sure, sure. Uh, a lot of people will know you from you've won the summoning the summoner song contest. Songs of the twice. summoners. Uh, three times. We've, three we we won every time. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> which, <laughs> which is that's Dom loves to talk about that. He's 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 always like, "Yep, we want to talk to someone three times. You're welcome." Like he'll yep. say that when people uh, ask him about it. That's how he'll do it. And I'm just like, "Ugh." <laughs> but yes, yeah, so we did. I, we did. I love those songs. The uh. They're, they're clever and are Dom and I will <laughs> constantly <laughs> X to the Z oh, locked him in. <laughs> you know, so. That was, I, you know, that song, you know, D town was so weird for us because <laughs> I remember I was, you know, I had gotten into league in college and, uh, I think when I started playing league, uh, Kenan was brand new and, uh, okay. yeah. And so I was playing with my friends and I remember the first time I played, I, I played Karthus. It was the first champion I ever played and I ran in the lane and like, Used this couple spells and then died very promptly. It was like, what? <laughs> what is even happening right now? And it took me a very long time to figure out how to play the game. But uh, when he, you know, my buddy was like, hey, um, I don't know if you saw, but League's doing a song contest. We, you know, we should we should do that. And I was like, yeah, that could be fun. You know, like just because I've always I've been making silly stuff up since I was in high school. You know, doing just like I have a I play guitar and piano and I would make little you know funny like parodies or covers or whatever. Sure. Um, and then. You know, so we did that, and you know, it kind of blew up somehow. <laughs> so we were like, "Oh wow, okay, <laughs> that's that's neat." And that was sort of how that you know we were. We talked to some people. I remember uh, Pendragon told us he was like, "You know, you guys should make an album out of this. Like, you should just make a bunch of these." And I was like, "Okay, so yeah, why not, I, right?" Yeah, <laughs> I think th- what you've had, you have two albums then, the two mm-hmm. league albums. Um, yeah, we have two albums out. Because yep. I can remember talking to you guys, and I actually got an early version of the Ionia track mm-hmm. way before it released. You know, that was like one of the first times that Bed Administrator and others had collaborated and made yeah. uh, a song together. So why don't you go ahead and tell us about Area Defect, uh, some of your history, you know, people out there who may not know who Area Defect is, and yourself, Kyle Danger. Sure, Mike. sure, sure. Well, um, the group started, like, like I said, back in the day, so when Ken was new. I, don't, I know people who haven't even, you know... I know people who've been playing for years and haven't been playing since Kenan was new, which is, <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is strange to me. And Dom's been playing since beta. So, like, he has the King Ramus skin and all that. But, um, you know, it, was, it started me and Dom and Joe all, and Amalia all went to college together um, at Western Washington University. Uh, Joe and I graduated in 2010. Uh, Amalia did too. And then Dom was a couple years uh, before us. And um, we just sort of. We, we, it started because of because of D-Town. Um, it was the first song we ever made, and that sort of spawned the band. And uh, we've gone through many, as we like to call them, roster changes. People have come and gone because of you know different life things and decisions. And so it started as Joe and I, and then we got Dom and uh, my friend Celeste involved. Dom is the help, right? Dom is the help, yes, okay. the help. And uh, Celeste Star got involved. So there were four of us at the time. Then uh, Malicious, my friend Amalia, came back from New York, and she joined us. So we had five people. Then Celeste had to leave, and then Joe left, and then Amalia left over like a period of a couple of years. So now it's just the help and I. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we've had at you know everywhere from two people to five people in this group at some point or another. But I've been here the whole time. <laughs> so it's just Headfield and Lars left, and then you just keep yeah. filling the gap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we got. Uh, um, Simon and Garfunkel. I guess I'm Simon because Dom's the one with the hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> the, the help has the great hair. But uh, but yes, we've just um, it's it's been interesting. We, we we did this thing for a long time where we would like make a song or a couple of songs and then just not do anything for like six months and then like make a song or <laughs> a couple of songs. So we you know we've been around for a really long time, but we still don't have a lot of people who really know us that well, which is interesting. But it's kind of our own. It was, Considering it was... that you've won the Songs of the Summon three <laughs> times, and you even played at PAX, like you have your live set out there, where yeah. uh, it was the four of you had played a yeah. live at the stage. You played, what, uh, six, seven songs or whatever it was? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. In front yeah. of a live audience, and I can't believe that more people don't know who Area Defect is, because you are, you are right now one of the longest, if not the longest, running. I think we're the oldest. Band. I think we are the oldest group. one. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think we're the oldest one. <laughs> well, what was your, uh, I remember the end game. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other one out... was 6v4 was for Songs of the Summon 3. Okay, that was for the latest one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was D-Town, Endgame, and then 6v4. And, and that, there's only been three, so... <laughs> <laughs> and you're you're just awesome. itching to get into the next one that they release, aren't you? <laughs> well, <laughs> well I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, we, 
because the guy who does all of our tracks, the guy who uh, does the mixing and creation, the compositions for all that, he's a huge metalhead. He actually has a band, a metal band, a side project. He's in. He does basically three bands worth of work. He's he's got his main band that he plays live with. They're called Eagle Teeth, and they're based out of Seattle, Bellingham area. And then he's got us, uh, one of his bigger clients. And then he has this group, his side project with his buddy Eric. that's called Hoth, and it's the two of them that make this like brutal metal, like Star Wars based metal. <laughs> Um, That's amazing. Star Wars metal. It's a new genre. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. It's and it's it's like they're in the metal archives. Like they're they're metal as fuck, and they oh. they've actually been they're really big in Europe. Turns out uh, they're getting they're like in really? the middle of, of getting a record deal from some like German label or something like. Okay. Yeah, but he Mission loves metal. Scandinavia. There's a lot of metal over there. Yeah, no, that's they're they're huge there, and so well, like. What? Sorry to interrupt, but one of the things no, no. that uh, that DeClaude had said to me before, he was like, "Oh, so they're a nerdcore band or, or a group?" I said, "Yeah." He's like, "Well, they should be folk metal because it's better." <laughs> well, you know, we actually one of the things we got coming up, we got another metal track coming up. We because I like I was saying, our, our DJ he loves metal, so when we made six before for the song of the summoned, he was like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna get on," you know, like he was really excited to make that. <laughs> And so we had a lot of fun doing it, so we decided to make another one, and that's, that's going to be the next track that we release. Um, Can't wait. Coming up pretty soon. Yeah, it should be, should be a good one. So if we, <laughs> when we end this podcast, you know, normally we play some kind of music at the end, and I have played sure. Area Defect music in the past. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, again, I like to give a lot of the, a lot of you guys exposure. I've done Instalock, Bad Administrator, yeah, you know, etc. So you know, we're all friends. We all like to get out there and help each other. You know, really promote. So my question for you is, what song am I going to play at the end of this podcast? What song are you going to play at the end of this podcast? Well, I what mean... What is your favorite Area Defect League of Legends song? I have to say my favorite song that we've made is probably 6v4. I'd, okay. wanted, I'd wanted to make that song for a very, very long time starting... Uh, right after we made D-Town, I had, you know, was like when it finally got released, Mordekaiser at the time was like the champion I played most often. <laughs> and I was like, man, I really want to make a song. I want to make a metal song about this champion who's all about metal. But at the time, I didn't really know anyone or I didn't have the chops to like do it myself. So I was like, well, I'm not going to do it if I can't do it right. And then, you know, three years later, that's when it happened. And and so uh, to date, that's probably still, it's probably still my favorite. It's just, it's like, the it, I feel like it fits the best, you know, the, for, the source your material. style. Uh, well, the uh, well, source material and the and the genre of music. Y- you you're know. absolutely right, with, especially with the now the Pentakill album that has been oh, released yeah. out and all that. Yeah, mm-hmm. you inspired yes. them to release that album. <laughs> well, we'd like to think so. <laughs> I, I I agree with that. I, I you know it, it might have. It's really fun listening to what you guys have put together. I like the fact, as well, you guys did the, um, the Volley Bear, the Cypher, when they the very first League of Legends Cypher, the Volley uh-huh. Bear one. Uh, yeah. Reading some of the comments on that video, like one of your lines is, um, uh, you know, Annie got her Menzi. And, and <laughs> listening to people say, what does that mean? Yeah, <laughs> it kills me. Well, you know, it's funny because... Back then, we, it was the it was all five of us, and we had so we had two girls in our group, Amalia and Celeste, and they were both they were more um, <laughs> they were more conscious of like political correctedness than uh, than Joe Dom or I. But Dom Dom wants to put as much like vulgar material into our music <laughs> as possible. You, like when he gives me a draft Sneak of lyrics, I have to be like, oh Jesus, <laughs> like I just can't. <laughs> like Dom, we can't. We can't do this. Like people are, you know, and it's just the, you know, and we probably could do it, you know, and it wouldn't really, it wouldn't be that bad. But that sure. was, Dom wrote the first draft of the Volleyball Cipher because he was really excited about it. And so he gave it to me and I was like, all right, well, we got to clean this up. And he was like, we're keeping the Menzi joke. <laughs> we're like, I don't care what you do to this track, but we're keeping it. for like, him. Yeah, Sticking I was with like, guns. yeah, and I, I had, I admired that. I was like, you know what, <laughs> Dom, you've been fighting for this really hard. We're keeping the Menzi joke. <laughs> <laughs> I had to reword it though, because the way he originally had it worded was all just—it was cattywampus. It had to be Kitty <laughs> cattywampus. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Menzi, blah blah blah. Period. I was like, this is not even. This is I like. I see what you're doing here, but we gotta fucking just <laughs> words over this way and like. <laughs> I know we told you before this podcast started. We are definitely an explicitly tagged podcast, so any of the stuff that we want to talk about, it makes it even better for this because. Right. That's why I was that. <laughs> that that's why I haven't been holding back. I sometimes I get a bad reputation. I just kind of swear a lot. My father. Yeah. No eggshells to walk on here. You can just yeah. So fuck it. Awesome. Those. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we have definitely screamed at each other in the past, and I'm sure that um, and you as a group have as well. So, like, what's a normal? Okay, so you've got it's just you and Dom at this point. Um, you haven't really put out too much League of Legends music, I would say. What about the past year? I haven't really seen anything from you. Yeah, guys we there was there was kind of a 
after our PAX show last year, there was kind of a, a kerfuffle in just like we kind of some shit went down and we kind of weren't able to uh, produce like we wanted to. Um, then starting at about November, December of last year, we released like we finally got around to releasing the songs from our second Kickstarter, we got those all out. And we're releasing uh, pretty steadily. We had what we've we? we've had like probably eight songs come out since last November. What did I see? I think I saw a Nami and a Hecarim song. Is that, those only two yeah. I can off the top of my head? We did one about Nami, uh, Soraka, Hecarim, Timo, um, Singed, uh, Lulu. Okay. Um, yeah, we've uh, we've we've covered it. We've covered a little bit more ground since then. But and, um, the last one we released, what was the last one? I believe it was. Uh, Oh, last one we released was Ice Queens. We did a one about Sejuani, Ash, and um, and um, that Sonya. other yeah, that one. <laughs> we did we did that. <laughs> Which Thank one? You. The Ice yeah. Witch. The Witch. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah, D- uh, don't do right. not do not give him fuel because this right. motherfucker will all run right. with puns all night. <laughs> so do not even. I'll back off. <laughs> Our guest has the floor. God, it's, it's getting cold in here. I uh, held my oh, tongue Jesus with Christ. I held my tongue with the period jokes. All right, I didn't go that I didn't go that I, route. So I would appreciate it. No, it's uh, <laughs> so we we did that. Uh, we had we collaborated with Max Sumi. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> All right. Anyway, cool. <laughs> okay. We did we that uh, the Ice Queens track we collaborated with Natsumi. Um she did Ash for us and that that was a lot of fun and we had also the one before that was about Master Yi and Wukong it's called Wuju Style. We uh, the beat came from the Summoner's Jukebox. Our buddy Alex from the Summoner's Jukebox. He he entered that track in Songs of the Summon 3 and we were like, "Oh, this is awesome." But it was just an instrumental. So we asked him if we could uh, rap over it we it was me and uh rob actually um on that as well okay uh, we collaborated with the both of them so that was a lot of fun too and uh the next one our next track is gonna it's called the hunt it's uh it's kazakhs and rangar it's a metal okay. it's oh, cool it's quite metal um <laughs> if i do say so myself and they, people yeah. can, people will be able to find this where uh people will be finding our, our band camp area of defect uh will be able to get it i mean our youtube channels where the video is going to be posted up youtube <laughs> area of defect um and then we're also, I'm trying to get all of our stuff back up onto uh, iTunes and CD Baby and uh, Spotify and okay. Amazon and all of that stuff. So uh, there will be, we'll get our, our Facebook and our Twitter, you follow us there and we'll be able to, um, you'll receive notice for sure. <laughs> yeah, if you guys are following us on Twitter, of course, it's T-Force Podcast. We've been retweeting you guys or we've been mentioning you guys pretty much all week. So you, yeah. if you want to find Area Defect, that's you know another way you can find it. Yes, um, uh, you, you'll find it one way or other. I, it's kind of much like how we have it. It's area defect. If you type that in Google, you guys are going to be pretty much the only thing that yeah, pops up on the front yeah. page. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we're, the, we're the only one. <laughs> so I did notice that after PAX last year, you guys, did, I, I don't, I want to say it was like maybe an after show. Um, I, I remember seeing some videos on YouTube. You guys were at a bar. The th- it was three or four. It was, I think it was the four of you at that. Yeah, point. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so um, n- now, mo- my where I'm moving this to is moving forward. Are you guys? Uh, you, have you been transitioning to like more of a nerdcore type of band? Do you plan on doing other music outside of League of Legends? Um, are you touring? You know what's going on with Area Defect, and what can we expect? Yeah, so let me let me let me lay it down for you. So um, last year we decided to throw a party um, for a lot of reasons because Dom likes to party, I like to party. Uh, we had, and it was my birthday. My PAX is on my birthday every year. My birthday oh, is wow. the first. Oh, I, it's yeah. the first of September. <laughs> so um, we're going to be throwing another one this year. Um, same deal, only with um, uh, one more year added on to the number of years that I am. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be it's in a it's a, gonna be in Seattle, of course. Uh, it's called a place called Q Nightclub. It's out on Capitol Hill. Uh, owners are good buddies of ours. The the party is officially called Poro Palooza. <laughs> Um, the the art's gonna be out. We're gonna be posting flyers for Poro Paliza pretty soon. Um, last year we had some great people show up. We got Riders, um, uh, Ezreal was there, Feral Pony was there, a bunch of people. Uh, Instalock showed up. We also had uh, Cody POV, Lily Pichu, Hotshot GG was there. Oh, wow. uh, Uka Bear was there. Yeah, like a lot of people were coming. Natsumi showed up. Everybody, it was a lot of fun. And, it, and again, it's my birthday, so I was like, woo, birthday! Right. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so we had. This year we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing. Um, uh, we've got what? Well, let me see. Dom wrote this down for me. Oh, um, it's obviously twenty one and over because it's a nightclub. Um, there's a five dollar cover. Uh, if you're cosplay or if you've got like a special badge, any kind for packs, you're gonna get in for free. So um, that's gonna be awesome. We're gonna get DJs there. Got probably we're working on getting a food truck and uh, like some custom photo booths and all sorts of shit. The club is. Um, we did a video. 
uh, we did it. We had a three a three video contract with Machinima Realm a while back. We made three uh, videos. I remember for... some of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we made we made those just as sort of an experiment. <laughs> um, the League of Draven one that we made that was shot in Q Nightclub primarily. So all of like the lasers and shit and all the cool stuff that goes on in there, like that's was... all part of that. Sorry, uh, Malicious was with you during those, right? Didn't she? Yes, she she spotted. She spotlighted a few of those. Um, what was the? Was that the one when you got? I guess you were in the club. What was the name of that one again? I, you may that, have just mentioned it. That one's League of Draven. League of and Draven. then uh, the one she was in. The, the feature for her was like never queuing up together. It was a Taylor Swift parody about okay. uh, about bad about your bad friends that play League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the other one was this really artsy thing called the Fear. You know, and this is this is something about our music too. Is that uh, we try really hard to all of our original inspiration comes from the lore of League of Legends. Uh, it comes from you know the character backstories and like I, I try to incorporate like the essence of characters when we write. So we try to some oftentimes we'll try to sound like them. Um, we'll okay. try we'll try to use like their names and stuff and like of their attacks, their abilities, different parts of their lore in the music. Um, Dom and I have always been very like interested in the lore of this game. Most people play League of Legends; they just queue up. I'm gonna pick this guy because he's a right. ninja, and then I'm gonna go into the battlefield and kill everybody, and yay! But they don't really. No, most people don't really care about the lore, but we really do because we're. Um, we got our degrees in theater. I'm an actor. Dom's a scenic designer. We're really like that's what we're all about. Really, um, this music thing is like. I love I love music and I've always loved music and I'm not like I'm not the best singer or or musician uh, anywhere. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not, I, I don't have any training really in music, but I love music. So I just we've we've sort of been we've sort of been having that be our outlet. But one of the things that we're going to be moving into, as as you've asked, uh, we've got this really great plan coming up um, for a League of Legends web series. Okay. We want to make. We want to take uh, oh, cool. I've a whole, a fully original script that I'm writing, and uh, um, it's going to be like live action style. We we're trying to get uh, like some legit cosplayers to like come in and make okay. costumes. So we've got some people lined up. It's uh, and um, the style is sort of like Game of Thrones of League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, it's 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 kind of it's meant to be a little bit gritty and like more realistic than. Than uh, some the more than silly, but you know we're probably going to do like a like a tangentially um, silly offshoot as well, just because there's so much comedic potential in that. It'd be a shame to waste. I but. feel like you guys have the upper hand a lot of these other people because uh, I just played Jax or I just played Jax that mm -hmm. song that had obviously had Saint Vicious and C or uh, Counter Logic. Or, I can't Counter Logic. Hot shot. Hot shot from Seal <laughs> when they were on CLG together. Yes, and, and playing professionally together mm -hmm. they were both in that video and that was like a big deal everyone's got the uh the gif of of them like kind of doing this yeah you know, like, <laughs> yeah but when i saw that gif i died it was so good <laughs> It's with the St. Vicious with the umbrella. And that was great. <laughs> yeah, that there's was so many good shots in that video, but I feel like you guys have like a leg up because one, you said you 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 pay for studio time. Like when we made that intro, that that's a professionally made intro, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in a studio with professional grade equipment, and it looked like the video again, professional grade equipment. You, you, everything yeah. that you guys do, and that's probably you know that's a testament to why you've won Songs in the Summon three times so far as a group. It's the quality. Well, yeah, yeah, thank you. I mean, we're we. we we try not to take the idea seriously, like rap music or metal music or like hardcore music about a video game. Like it's inherently comical. We try not to take that seriously, but we sure. do take the art seriously, the making of the of the of the music or the film and the quality, the artistic choices that are made for the design and for the performance. Like we take that very seriously because, you know, that's what we do. That's what we've been trained to do. That's what we got our degrees in. That's what we want to do professionally. So that to us is very important. And um, it's also why we don't produce a whole lot of stuff um, very quickly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not about quantity, yeah. Yeah, for us, it's not about quantity. It's not about, you know, like, just random yelling into a microphone, posting it on YouTube with some gameplay footage, and, like, there you go. Right. Not saying, not saying, <laughs> right, right. not trying to, you know, say anybody's, that's anybody's jam in particular. But, no, no, like, we understand. Yeah, but that's definitely not what we're about. Um, we're trying to, we're, we're we're definitely about trying to make something that uh, that lasts and stands on its own as like a like a piece of art about this particular medium, about this particular uh, subject matter, this uh, the League of Legends. I like that you say that because D Town, for example, while you have learned quite a bit, I'm sure over the years, and your producer has learned how to you know mix and whatnot better. Yes. It still stands on its own. It's still a great piece to listen to. 
Um, oh yeah, and and it's you know it's going to stand the the test of time as League of Legends continues to move through it because it's such an iconic song. Well, yeah, thank you. I mean, uh, and we, you know, that's that was part of it too. Like with D Town, we were like, you know, what's like there's this group of characters that this lore, these Damasians, these like from who are all, you know, we've played these characters in game and they're all like super patriotic and like really all about their their country. And every last one of them, sons of bitches, screams Damasia when they do something. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like it's like you're bored with a scream gene when you come out of that fucking, <laughs> you know, like right. every, you're popping people, out of the womb screaming. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, about the, it's a baby's first word. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, popping straight yet yeah. anyway um but you know that's that's so we sort of like you know that 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 feeling of of pride that they have for their country we wanted to instill in that in that song um oh, and it's felt. Yeah. It's felt. <laughs> good good you, you carried good. it over with endgame too i like how they kind of we tried uh, compliment I mean, each other so yeah, yeah we, we, i mean we thought that was sort of our intention it's like well we did this one and these are the people that hate them and they're the same <laughs> except more angry and, and, <laughs> so. and the schwarzenegger accent for scion was perfect <laughs> yeah. that was spot on <laughs> yeah joe does a joe does a hell of a schwarzenegger man i'll tell you <laughs> <He does. laughs> so, kyle, was... so kyle i can get you to send me some of those some of your tracks right you're, oh, absolutely. You're, okay yeah. well, we're done because uh, like i said i want to I continue to play some of the area defect music we'll, we'll end this one with six feet four when we get there so i'm going to put you on the spot right now and if, okay. and if you can't how, how good are you at uh just free flowing kind of uh, with rap can can you can you throw anything oh, here we go us about league of legends <laughs> uh can just just rap whatever what, like, you know, what just you give us a treat give us give us a piece of what kyle can do with league of legends and you know maybe <laughs> ideally, if, you, if you can do it I, i'm putting you on the spot i i understand well, i'll be i'll be honest this is another thing too is i'm not very good at freestyle because lyrics to me are the most important genre of it like that's sure. the most important part of the song if you're going to have words in a song they need to mean something which is basically the opposite of the philosophy of philosophy of like pop culture music you know you listen, <laughs> right. you listen to something like uh basically anything by jason derulo for example <laughs> like half the song talk dirty to me I'm like, da, 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 da. the most memorable part of the song is the saxophone <laughs> like, right <laughs> you know so it's like you know the stuff he says he could be he could be like bananas and peanut butter sandwiches yeah and, <laughs> and i'm gonna make this movie later <laughs> And you're just like, oh man, I love this smoothies. It's my jam. You know, like people rolling down the. I think you just made a new a new jam called smoothies. That we're gonna talk about. <laughs> you know, yeah. Kale and the butter gonna mix it up. <laughs> I'd see it right there. Kale and the butter gonna mix it up. Look at kale and the butter gonna mix it up. You know, you can just like a whole. Wop, 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 the whole thing. Well, that's when you have to actually put the blender in the song. Zit, 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 boo, yeah. zit, zit, boo, 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 boo. Yeah, like the whole. It's you just take it on a pad. Just <laughs> <laughs> put a pad. That's beautiful. So, uh, well, we're actually reaching the end of our thirty minutes here. I know that we want we want to try to keep this one just a, a little short. I know we could we could talk for another easy talk for another half an hour about area defect. Oh, sure, sure. But. Uh, you know, you still have the floor if we, if you want to talk. Do you you know give us anything you you know anything about area defect? Do you have tour dates coming up? What can the people expect from you? Where can they find you? You know what's going on and, and sure. Yeah, well, stuff. like I like I said, best way to best way to figure out what we're doing is Facebook area of defect on Facebook, Twitter at area of defect will be we we put out on the social medias, obviously YouTube, um, and then you know new, coming up we've got the hunt. Like I said, it's our next metal track with Cosmic and Rangar. We've got uh, we're going to be featured on This Is War Three Part Two. Um, that Falcon Shield project. Have he's been doing those big collaborations? Oh, yeah. those metal yep. rap collab. Those are excellent, and we're excited to be on the next one. Um, we got a bunch of other tracks coming up. We're hopefully going to be hopefully going to be doing a show at PAX this year. We can't really make any promises, but we're trying to get that organized. Uh, we got that's the party. Already, that's in less than thirty days, isn't it? Yeah. Well, uh, about thirty days ish. Thirty okay. days. Some change, give or take. Um, but we've got uh, so we've and we've got our after party, Poro Palooza, that'll be coming up as well. Um, like I said earlier, the show, this web series, we're hopefully going to be able to launch that. You know, well, our plan for that is is multi stage, but uh, provided we can get the pilot episode done like we want, uh, we're going to be able to do a Kickstarter for that next year, hopefully. So that'll be well, something to cool. check. That'll be something to look out for. Um, 
uh, once you start seeing once you start seeing uh, me and a couple other people in League of Legends cosplay that looks like there's no way these jokers could have made that themselves, <laughs> that's when you know. <laughs> that's when you know that's coming up. But uh, yeah, I just want to say, you know, before we get off, just want to give a shout out to our fans that have been with us the whole time. The people who have been with us, like we said, we've been around for a long time. Uh, people who stayed with us all the way. That's like that's really important to us. We love you guys for that. So, uh, please, you know, everybody, everybody who's checking out our music. Thank you. Um, you know, we got, uh, got to give a shout out to the help. My boy, he's yeah. not here tonight, but he wanted to be, um, come by, check out his hair. We, we stream pretty often too. Uh, Twitch TV, area of defect, the whole thing. Mm -hmm, Dom and mm -hmm. his big hair will be on. He has his kid read stories. It's pretty adorable. That is, that is fucking fantastic. I love yeah, it already. It's, it's super cute. He reads, yeah, his kid is adorable. We've got, you know... We'll, we'll, have, to, we'll have to get something together between T-Force and area defect because oh, uh, the other day, like last week, I, I did a, I had a day off of work. It was a Monday. I streamed shirtless for fun. And, you know, yeah, people we, the entire chai was just making fun of But it's one of those, like, it's a good community building, you know, yeah. make fun of the guy in chat type of thing. Totally. So. We, did a, we did a boxer stream once. Did you? <laughs> Tom and I did. Yeah, <laughs> that was great. But yeah, you know, um, you know, big shout out to our collaborators, Badman, Rob, uh, Yordles, Sunny and Miles. Good came came out in Uh freaking uh, Natsumi. <laughs> All these people that we've been we've been working with. We love we love hanging out, doing the collaborations. Keep it up, you know. And uh, freaking Cody. Cody's been out there. We'd love to get. We'd love to get on track with him. We'd love to see we repping that, doing the good stuff. Falcon Shield. We're really excited to be getting on board with all that. Um, Dom wanted me to say to Ugu Bear that he still wants to marry you like every day. Um, so <laughs> I, he wanted me to. He wanted me to put that out into the into the universe again. There you go. Um, it's uh, out our there. buddies, our buddies at Pro Built Systems. Um, John and Liz, you know, and everybody on that staff helping us. If you guys don't know who they are, they're building computers. They built all of our computers. Um, oh, wow. And they're doing some really good work with that. So, uh, and uh, <laughs> Dom also wants me to say to Crush Life, he says, Yo, Couch, he ain't about that life. <laughs> okay, Dom. I don't I even mean, know what that means. I, I don't know what you're going to... for, Dom, but. <laughs> I don't, even know, I don't even know what that means. I had, so, me like a list. I had so much fun talking to Dom, so I, you know, the help before this, because I didn't get to talk to you originally, because I think you were off uh, you know, taking care of some theater, whatever. Yeah, and, you, know, yeah. you, you were taking care of a job, pretty much, somewhere. So Dom and I talked, and he and I just bullshit for about 30 minutes, and, and it finally got to the end. I was like, are right, we going to talk? We have to talk about this music. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I love you to Dom death, brother, but we got to talk about what I want, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, for real. He's kicking you out. Yeah, no, Dom is Dom is really uh, Dom. Dom could just spin it, man. He's good forever. <laughs> there you <laughs> like, go. He'll do that for sure. But yeah, it's. I mean, it's been an honor, man. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having me on the show. Thanks for hey, thanks for coming. Spit out and talk about it. It was great doing the track. I'd love to do thanks more. Thanks for the intro. It is awesome. I love it. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things. If you just get an idea and you want to spit something for Trinity Force, I will not say no to it. <laughs> I, I, you know, awesome. you, you're testing new equipment, yep. whatever. Throw something. You want to make an outro for the podcast? I'm not going to tell you no to do it. So <laughs> make, make <laughs> a uh, make a like a uh, make an R and B track about you. <laughs> <laughs> I watch. You know what? The, the challenge is eventually they've been making fun of it in chat because you the you know the, I can't do that. Yeah. But they, they, said, <laughs> they want you to do a kazoo version of some kind of track. Ah, kazoo. That's something we need to do. Thank you, chat. Appreciate. <laughs> we'll get on the kazoo harmonica thing. We'll make that. Yes. <laughs> yes. I can play like I can play like I can play Mary had a little lamb on my harmonica. So. <laughs> I don't know, man. Pixar didn't happen. <laughs> I, don't even, I would play it right now. I don't have it with me, actually. Um, I'd be like, wait, hold on. I don't remember. <laughs> <this."> <laughs> what I want. <laughs> <laughs> wait, if I give you a beat, if I just like, <laughs> like just for you. No, yeah. I can't spit. Don't even try to make. <laughs> you don't have to make... spit, but a harmonica. I mean, you can no, no, no. I wish the... I was there. I could <laughs> do Mary get a little lamb to it. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine just like, you know, just the whole. See, thing. there we go. There is the freestyle we were looking yeah. for. <laughs> just like, <laughs> Mary, yeah. met, met Mary. Had yeah, a little right. <laughs> uh, all right. You know what, Kyle? Thanks so much for joining with the Trinity Force Absolutely, podcast. Man. Area Defect Guys, go please just check them out. I hope you all enjoyed the new intro. It's going to be the intro we play from here on forward. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. It's, you know, we've had a lot of fun talking to you and had a lot of fun with that. So it's been great being on, man. Thank you, D Claude. Adam, thanks for having me on. It's been yeah, great. Thanks, Kyle. Anytime. Appreciate it.
All right, yeah. guys, that was episode 177 of the Trinity Force podcast. Uh, we will see you in uh, 177.5. Yeah, 177.5. Yes, because it's a special supplement episode. Bam! From Effect. So, guys, that is it. <laughs> you guys will be able to check us out at 178 for patch 4.12 breakdown here. I usually say next week, but like now. Go, go <laughs> yeah, a couple minutes <laughs> right now. <laughs> All right, so if you guys are actually watching the live stream, we are going to go AFK for about 10 minutes. Right now it is 8.36 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. We're going to get everybody together, and we're going to actually do episode 178 of the Trinity Force podcast talking about patch 4.12. The whole breakdown is going to be. So we're going to talk to Kyle here and, during the break, and we're going to take care of that guy. So we'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes. So we'll see you right then. See you. Right on.